and welcome to your Monday Morning Yoga Minutes. I'm Audra Monk and I teach at Mountain Spirit Yoga in Middletown, Maryland. And we would love for you to join us at our studio for a class or a workshop. And you can see all of our information at mountainspirityoga.com. Oh, so it's a beautiful rainy Monday in Maryland. Um, and today I wanna to share with you um, what I call like feel good yoga or yoga you can do anywhere. So imagine you've been traveling and you got off an airplane and you're waiting at baggage, uh, baggage pickup, or you've been in the car all day or you've been sitting at a desk all day. This is a short uh, five minute-ish yoga that you can do anywhere. And um, so we're just gonna get started. So first up, whenever you're wherever it is, um, and it doesn't matter what you're wearing, you can have your shoes on. Obviously, if you're traveling, you'll have your shoes on. Um, if you're at home, of course, take your shoes off and maybe you can take your socks off. But you've been traveling a while or sitting all day and you're gonna get up and stand in Tadasana. So feet about hip distance apart. Spread your toes and let them settle back down. Okay, roll your shoulders down and back. And then we're gonna play with the push and the release. So lean a little right and push that leg actively to the floor. Feel this thigh get strong. Shoulder down, belly pulls in. Okay, come through the center, lean a little left. Really engage your left foot. Left thigh, left belly, shoulder down and back. Good, come center. So maybe rock a little side to side. Settle center. Everything is strong, we're pushing into the earth, but we're also gently pushing or lifting towards the sky. All right, now, most of us when we travel or we sit a lot, the shoulders come in. So we're gonna release that shoulders down and back. Take your arms and extend them behind you where the heart feels lifted and you feel grounded still in both of those feet. Good, and we're gonna breathe here. All right, and then as you're, you know, imagine you're just stretching your arms back wherever you are, and then you're gonna reach if you can, reach your hands together, interlace your hands, and reach your knuckles down. And that's really gonna open up the chest and make that feel good. All right, so you know, you can stand like this as you're stretching or, um, sorry, as you're, you are stretching while you're waiting for your bags to come or you're waiting for your friend to catch up with you or you're waiting for your taxi or Uber to take you somewhere. Switch your hands. So whatever interlace you did, do the other one and let that reach down. Good, breathing here, feeling the push of the feet into the earth and the lift of the head towards the sky. All right, soften the arms and let them go. All right, next, you're gonna take one foot. So, and I still don't understand how the whole flip of Facebook works, but slide one foot halfway forward. If you're feeling really good, slide it a whole foot forward. Okay, so a small, tiny step. Now, bring your arms up and then whichever, so for me, it's my left foot is forward. I'm gonna press my left hip more forward, but my right heel stays strong on the earth. My arms can come up and reach high. You could do them back. If you've got space, you could do them out. So pretty much any variation you like there. And then whatever foot is forward, we're gonna lean that way. So that way this opposite side gets a nice bit of stretch. So the psoas, hip flexor area, and that is what gets tight from sitting, right? So we're gonna breathe here. All right, so say you're at baggage claim and you don't wanna have your arms all the way up in the air. You could do this right here, hands at the hips, pressing that glute forward. It's not even gonna look that weird to anyone. All right, so, and we're leaning to the side a little and that would be fine. Come back to center. All right, now, keeping your feet where you are, take your hips behind you. And now press into both feet evenly. Good, so just stick your butt out just a little bit Breathe here, so it's sort of a very, very small pyramid pose maybe. All right, and come back up. Let's do the other side. So slide that foot in. Opposite foot can go up just about a half of your foot or a full foot in front. All right, start to press your hips forward. So now the opposite hip's gonna get that stretch. And think about arms, maybe you do back arms. Oh, cause you can do that and you know, count to five or 10 and that would feel good. Maybe your arms go out, maybe your arms go up, oh, I like up. I know it looks a little more you know, crazy when you're out. And then lean away. So lean towards the foot that's at the front. Beautiful, you could do, you know, you could do a hand on the hip. That's a nice variation. 
And everybody will know you're stretching. Everybody might be like, wow, I should do a little stretching. Good breathing here. All right, come on back. Keep the feet where they are. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take the butt out just a little behind you. Lean forward, so a little hinge, but we're not rounding the low back. Press into both feet. Good, lengthen through the top of your head. Breathe in here. And gently come back up and slide that foot back in. All right, take your feet that same hip distance, maybe a little wider. Shoulders are down and back. We're gonna slide the butt back and bring the hands to the thighs. So you might stay right here. If this feels good for you and you have the space to do it, you go ahead and come down to the elbows. All right, so any amount of a little, let me turn to the side. So your butt definitely is out. So if it's hands on the hips, you're here, shoulders down and back. If you're feeling pretty good, bend your knees more and bring your elbows to your thighs. Good, lengthen through the top of the head, press into the feet. Breathe in here. And let's gently come back up. All right, so you could stop there but most likely you're gonna to wanna to stretch those quads. So maybe you need to put your hand on the back of the chair or put your hand on the wall. Maybe you're waiting at the back uh, somewhere. Or if your balance is good today, maybe you're just gonna do it out in the middle of the room. We're gonna take a quad stretch. And so you're gonna reach back and hold onto your foot, press your hips forward. If you need to, this hand is out for balance or it's on something, or you could do hand on your hip. So pressing the hips forward because again, this all gets really tight when we sit a long time. So this is just some nice, you know, relatively quick yoga that we take our time with that can make us feel good. Good, breathe in here. All right, oops, I'm losing my balance there. And let's gently bring it down. Take a moment. Let's do the other side. Good. Remember, it's okay to hold on to something or a friend. That might be fun too. Hips are pressing forward. Spine is nice and long. Good, and we're breathing here. So officially, we should stay at least 30 seconds. So maybe 10 deep breaths. Maybe you take a quick glance at your watch or you set a timer. Or maybe you just chat with your friend and you stay for a little while. The key is don't rush it. Don't just grab it and then let it go. Give it a little bit of time here. Good, let's take maybe three more breaths. One more breath, and gently release. All right, check on your Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feel both feet on the earth. Feel both legs strong. Shoulders are down and back. All right, let's bring the arms up. Grab hold of one wrist. Oh, you can't even see my hands, look at that. And lean, oh, that feels so good. And after travel, you know this is gonna feel really good. All right, and so then once you learn these little bits, you can do these anywhere you go. Good, come back to center. Other side, I mean, they're great for being sedentary. They're also great, maybe you go hiking. And this is a great way to release things. Ah. And bring it back, all right. And then let's do hands behind. Again, if you, you could do shoulders down and back and arms apart, that might be a good stretch. You could bring the hands together. That might be a good stretch. So we're gonna breathe here. and then gently release. And then one last time we check in on our mountain pose. So feet hip distance apart, legs strong towards the earth, bellies in, shoulders down and back. So feel the push of the feet towards the floor and the lift of the head towards the sky. Okay, and let's take a breath. And there you go. All right, get your luggage, get into the car, off you go off to an adventure or back to home, whichever way it is. So thank you so very much for joining me for um, hopefully, I, I, yeah, hopefully about a five minute feel good yoga practice. Yoga you can take with you anywhere. If you have questions, comments, or requests, let us know. Give us a like, give us a love. Let us know that you're watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you and namaste.